I'm Dan Greenwald, I'm the creative director on the Forza franchise and we're here at Turn 10 Studios in Redmond taking a look at Forza 6 and talking about the Ford GT with uh, our Ford partners. Well this is the 10 year anniversary of Forza Motorsport. Back in 2005 we launched the original and then two years ago we launched Forza Motorsport 5 on the Xbox One. Since then we've had Forza Horizon 2 and now Forza Motorsport 6 and this is the biggest game we've ever built. It's got 450 cars, 26 environments, it's got night, it's got rain, and technologically it's incredibly advanced. 1080p, 60 frames per second, advanced simulation, drive avatars, great multiplayer features with leagues. This really is sort of the crowning achievement and honestly 10 years in the making for us. Drive avatars was a feature that we had in the original Forza Motorsport. It was machine learning, but it really was completely rethought on Forza Motorsport 5. We moved it to the cloud. It's more related to big data. It actually looks at how you drive, your tendencies, your characteristics, everything that makes you who you are when you drive a car, and it puts those into a profile for you in the cloud. And that's done through machine learning, where it actually looks at the entire population and learns new behavior. Those drive avatars then can be driven in your friends' games or all over the world. So with Forza Motorsport 5 and Forza Horizon 2, we have now had millions of players creating drive avatars, and that gave us a head start in developing the drive avatars in Forza Motorsport 6. So even today, if you've played Forza 5 or Forza Horizon 2, your drive avatar is racing in 6 right now at the studio. We're already testing against your data. Now the cool thing about that is it's not your data, it's not you, it's what it learned. It's a proxy and it's getting smarter and smarter every time we keep retraining it. So in Forza 6, we have a toggle where you can make it drive more professionally. So if you're looking for those drive avatars, your friends, your family, or whoever, to just not hit you as much, be a little bit more professional, you can do that. But even more cool is how human they are. We've been able to look at all that data, double click on it, and tune the drive avatars to lock up one tire, or to use the car more on the exit, to pass more aggressively, and also to set up passing in a more strategic way, two or three corners in advance. This was all things that you did, that players really did, and the system has learned how to do it. We didn't have to program it. It's kind of a revolution. It's not like normal AI. And the best part, and this is what really matters, so that's all tech, 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 and I love tech, but AI in games has never led to water cooler talk. It's never led to social engagement. With Drivatar it has. So we have players that will race against their friends, and it's not really their friend, because their friend wasn't online. They're racing against their friend's drive avatar, and it leads to a talk the next day, like, oh, I always see you drive green BMWs. What a silly paint job, or I really like it. Or you run me off the road, or man, your drive avatar is really fast. We're seeing that happen time and time again with the drive avatar system. When was the last time that happened in a racing game?